we may take our seats Minutes mm -hmm. in case someone has been involved in an accident mm -hmm. and uh, you have vomitors that are choking your yes. airway, we use the suction unit mm -hmm. to, su mm -hmm. to suction all the, uh, the vomitors yeah. so that your airway is clear. Mm -hmm. and then you have the monitor mm -hmm. which is used mm -hmm. to measure the vitals of the patient mm -hmm. so that you are able to do mm -hmm. your intervention based mm -hmm. on the on the findings okay and then you have a trauma kit uh -huh. we usually jump out very fast with it <laughs> in case of any accident okay. so okay. that we have all the materials we need they have okay. uh, the Mm -hmm. Because I used to at least to stop the bleeding and stuff. Okay. Okay. We have medication. Okay. And then we also have yeah, this event. Okay. Yeah. This one is a it's a small machine but it's very vital in the ambulance mm -hmm. because it it helps a patient to be able to breathe mm -hmm. because it pumps oxygen into the mm -hmm. lungs mm -hmm. very fast. Okay. It's as well used in the IC. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very good. So I don't know if I can I yeah, should mention your right? <laughs> 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 you <look> Thank <laughs> you. 
Let us all rise as we welcome His Excellency the President. Feel free to give him a warm reception with a hand clap as he's walking in. Karibu sana rais. Remember, he's the chief patron of St. John. So, John, St. John, come on, let's give him a warm, warm welcome. Welcome, Your Excellency. With your permission, I'll request we all remain standing as we'd like to start with a word of prayer. And I'll invite Reverend Captain Elijah Mbudhia to come and lead us in a word of prayer before we continue with the proceedings as scheduled. Karibu. Let's bow our hands and pray. Gracious Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we are very grateful for this day. We are very grateful for the gift of life, for the gift of salvation. We are very grateful, Heavenly Father, for many things that you've done in our lives. We cannot even be able to tell it all. We thank you for this great day for St. John's Ambulance. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for an opportunity that you have given us to celebrate and to commemorate this day. We pray, God Almighty, that you may bless all the members all friends, our president, and all the leaders of this country, and also the leaders of St. John's. Gracious Father, we pray that you may read us where there is no temptation. We beseech you, Lord, that you may give us peace and unity, so that you are able, every Father, to stand steady in a well ground. We bless your name, we exalt your holy name, and it is in the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on other seat in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those sins against us. Read us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We can take our seats. Your Excellency, the President of this great nation and the Chief Patron of St. John's, the CS Health, Madam Susan Nakumicha, all CSs and PSs present, the Chair of St. John, Mr. Paul Ndongo, the Deputy Patron, Mr. Sam Madoka, corporate partners and supporters of St. John's, St. John volunteers and members, your Excellency, sir, with your permission, at this point, I would like to invite the Chancellor, Dr. Robert Mutula, to open, uh, to give us his opening remarks. Welcome, sir. Your Excellency the President, uh, today is being the annual prayer and inspection parade, we are grateful for you to continue the tradition of hosting us for this event as our chief partner. Your Excellency, I would like to request you to be able to give uh, recognitions for some of our members who have shown outstanding and exemplary service to humanity in terms of health care. Um, community service and emergency response and disaster. Your Excellency, our membership starts from six years of age to 12, those are the dolphins, and they have several programs that they do in order to achieve what we call the super dolphin in terms of volunteerism and community service. This year we have one do, uh, super Dolphin by the name Caleb Sigar 
from my educational center who has excelled in super dolphin program, engaging in activities as junior first aid trainer and outdoor camping. His outstanding commitment to personal development and resilience makes him a standout student deserving of recognition. Your Excellency, I'd like to request you to come and award these recognitions. Caleb Sigar, Super Dolphin. <laughs> Enid Duta. Enid Duta is a cadet from Alliance High School, was shown exemplary uh, particip uh, participation. Naomi Maniki, exemplary youth volunteer, is a student at Kisi University. Lawrence Mukole. Tobias Oyucho, outstanding staff member. Kenya Railways, Mr. Safa Kadima. Your Excellency, we also have corporates who have supported the community service of St. John and other activities. One of them is Kenya Railways, being taken by Mr. Safa Kadima. Congratulations, Kenya, Kenya Ports Authority, Captain William. Joanita International Assistance from Germany. That is Jacinta Hurst. Lucille Aveva from Safaricom. And Mr. Rakesh Rao from Crown Paints. I Procure Limited. Mr. Millic Ms. Millicent Okumu. I procure. Mr. Millicent. Yes, thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, I will now want to hand over the program, the rest of the remaining, to our chairman, the Prior of St. John Ambulas, Kenya, Mr. Paul Ndung. Your Excellency, Honorable Dr. William Samoe Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya and uh, in charge of all the armed forces, Cabinet Secretaries and all national leaders present, dignitaries, corporate leaders, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is the 93rd time we are celebrating the St. John Annual Inspection Parade. This is a day we recognize and appreciate 
the St. John volunteers across the world. We thank you, Mr. President, for inviting St. John Ambulance volunteers to celebrate this day with you at State House, uh, Nairobi. About 90 years ago, St. John Ambulance was established in Kenya with the aim of offering charity first aid care to the public. That time, the charity organization was established, established under the Colonial Police Unit. St. John at the time did not have an ambulance, but trained police officers were available whenever disaster occurred to offer emergency care. Since the John Ambulance was started in Kenya in 1923, we have seen tremendous growth of the pre-hospital care provision sector in Kenya. St. John Ambulance was the pioneer ambulance service provider in this country and opened up room for other emerging ambulance service providers in this country. Today, besides offering ambulance services, I'm glad to note that we are now offering various pre-hospital care related uh, issues, training courses with a mission to ensure that Kenya attains a first one, first aid, skilled uh, person per household. This is a mission St. John Ambulance has never stopped, nor deviated from, uh, deviated from, but instead has grown it, making this service to humanity much more meaningful to those suffering and in need of emergency care. We are geared towards alleviating pain and suffering of any person whenever they are, any time. Your Excellency, Mr. President, St. John Ambulance Kenya runs successful network of 34,000 volunteer groups across the country with boys and girls, men and women who have dedicated their lives all through their young age, through teenage and adulthood, serving St. John Ambulances as volunteers. They are learners, they are learners from the age of six in primary schools, whom we refer to as dolphins. Another group from the age of 12 to 18 is secondary school, in secondary schools, we call them cadets. And 18 to 35, we refer to as links. Mostly students in colleges and universities and adult category who are members of society. society. Persons you live with next door but fully trained to, have, to save lives in emergency cases. Your Excellency, sir, the government has been our main partner in all our activities. From a long-standing relationship with the Ministry of Health to the Ministry of Transport and the Ministry of the Interior, we are running together, uh, we are running various volunteer activities with their support and coordination. Whenever there is a disaster, such as collapsed buildings, these volunteers come in handy and offer emergency rescue, first aid, first aid care and site evacuation through our ambulances. These services, Your Excellency, are all done for free. All our volunteer programs are based on community health care. Adult volunteer groups in the community, for instance, 
are always on call whenever an incident occurs within their jurisdiction. This means if a call comes through to or emergency number at the headquarters, we call these adult volunteers in the community where the incident occurs and dispatch them to respond faster even before ambulances and other agents get to the scene. By doing this, Your Excellency, we reduce cases of pain, suffering, and death that may occur due to lack of emergency care during the critical time of an emergency. Last year, we entered into a partnership with the Ministry of Transport through NTSA to train and equip some 200,000 border border riders across the country, teaching them first aid and emergency response. We are pleased to report that close to 2022, we already trained 200 border border riders in Nairobi. We are looking forward to proceeding with the training for the rest of the Rinders in Nairobi and other parts of the country too. In addition, the government supported the purchase of six advanced life, life support ambulances, some of which, Your Excellency, you have seen uh, a few moments ago for St. John Ambulance. This happened through the Sports, Arts, and Social Fund that is not only ensuring that our communities receive emergency care at the right time of an emergency, but also well prepared to handle disaster should they occur. This is in line with your government's mission to ensure that Kenya has enough well-trained community health volunteers within our estates, villages, and towns. St. John Ambulance reiterates its support in this government initiative by availing all our community health volunteers for this. Your Excellency, uh, may the Lord bless our country, and Your Excellency, may the Lord bless St. John Ambulance. Your Excellency, it now gives me much pleasure to invite the uh, Cabinet Secretary for Health to make a few remarks. Your Excellency, Mr. President, William Samoe Ruto, the Chair of the Council of St. John Ambulance, my two peers as present here, the Council members of St. John Ambulance, government officials present, and the whole community of St. John Ambulance, good morning. Your Excellency, it gives me pleasure that this morning you found time to graciously inspect the 93rd parade of St. John Ambulance. The council visited me in the office and we discussed and agreed that we make time and organize for you to inspect the parade, which we are indeed very happy that you made it today. Your Excellency, St. John Ambulance plays a critical role in the health of this as it has been elaborated by the chair of the council, they provide emergency services. And that is what makes a difference between when an accident occurs and when the patient is restored. So I'm indeed happy to report to you that since we came into government, we have been working very closely together. And Your Excellency, we now have a tripartite memorandum of understanding between the Sandy John Ambulance the Kenya Medical Training College and the Ministry of Health, 
where they are working together to train a number of St. John ambulance people to be able to carry out their practice as first responders. Your Excellency, besides the community health promoters that we are going to launch in the next few days, St. John Ambulance has trained over 40,000 first aid responders. And this will form an, ambulance, uh, an army together with our community health promoters to work within the communities in our bottom-up economic transformation agenda to ensure that they promote health and that we move away from the curative services that we have been focusing for many years. So I want to ask of the St. John Ambulance community that we work together to ensure that we promote health equally, prevent disease from happening. So I'm very happy, and especially with the council, where we've had discussions. And Your Excellency, when they came, they made two major requests. One is to get their allocation, which you indeed directed, and they received 100 million from us. And uh, the council has... <laughs> the council has acknowledged that they have put it into good use. It's one of those that they used to buy the ambulances. Your Excellency, you also directed that from their request of uh, being moved away from the city as their headquarters, you directed me and I'm in touch with my colleague from the Ministry of Lands, and you did direct that they be allocated one acre of land in Upper Hill, which I did communicate to them. <laughs> so indeed, Your Excellency, we are working very well together, and you now as the chief patron, I believe that we shall continue to work together to promote health and prevent diseases. With those few remarks, I would like now to, for all of us to be upstanding so that we invite His Excellency the President to make his remarks. Sante Nisan. Thank you very much, Waziri. Good morning, everybody. Uh huh. Abarizenu. Okay, you can take your seats. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, the chair Paul Ndungu of uh, St. John's and all the other um, leaders St. John community I am told there are dolphins and then there are Eh? Cadets, and then we have links, right? All those categories, I want to welcome all of you uh, to this very important morning parade. Congratulations to all of you for what I see as a great movement, and it is my pleasure to join you for this year's annual parade and inspection. This occasion is a commemoration of St. John's Day, a celebration of the milestones and achievements of this organization and a chance for all of us, including me, to rededicate ourselves to the values and goals of St. John Ambulance in Kenya. Today I commemorate this day with you an honor that I accept with humility and respond to you with a genuine eagerness to support you and to strengthen emergency and pre-hospital care in Kenya through the individual and collective contribution of this great St. John's Army that I see. The cultural consensus among most opinion ship, ship, shapers in Kenya today is that there is a lot of individualism, there is a lot of selfishness out there, and that most people are looking out just for themselves, and that the values of selflessness and service to others has become very remote. 
the existence of the St. John's Ambulance and over 26,000 volunteers breathe some fresh air to us as a nation that there are indeed people out there who want to look out for others, for the good of others. I want to say to all of you, congratulations for being part of that team. We were told, we attended the prayer breakfast the other day, and we were told, if you can feel pain, you are alive. But if you can feel the pain of others, then you are a human being. And I think St. John's embodies those who feel for the pain of others, and they step forward to do something about it, to help in situations that are of an emergency nature, situations that otherwise could lead into loss of life. And I want to say to all of you, congratulations. You have our support as you bring up the children uh, the younger ones from age 6 to the dolphin are 6 to 12, right? And I see many of them here. Uh, that is very good uh, training. Emergency and pre-hospital care is an integral component of quality health care services. We are committed to as expressly expressed in our agenda and articulated by Minister here to the provision of quality, affordable health care and the achievement of universal health coverage in Kenya. And that is why preventive and promotive health care is important to us. It is very important that we work towards eliminating instances where people are hospitalized. We are presently developing strategies and policies to guide implementation of emergency and pre-hospital care. As the minister has told you, we are in the process of formalizing the engagement of 100,000 community health promoters in Kenya, working between the national government and the county governments so that we can begin to respond to matters health at the earliest possible age in every village in every uh, town and in every part of the Republic of Kenya because we all agree that sometimes hospitalization becomes very expensive. Many people, uh, it gets out of the reach of many people and therefore we have to rethink, re-engineer, rework our plan, our strategy on how to deliver health. And I see the participation of St. John ambulance volunteers in working with our community health promoters. And I am happy that I have uh, been told that it is the vision of St. John uh, to make sure that in every family there is at least one person who understands something about emergency and emergency help. We will work to, with you to make sure that your vision becomes a reality. At the same time, we are developing a comprehensive architecture for health financing, including emergency medical fund to enhance access to emergency medical care for Kenyans, irrespective of their social status. I applaud St. John for the leadership and commitment to supplement government efforts in provision of emergency and pre-hospital medical service to Kenyans during emergencies and disaster, including when we had COVID-19 pandemic. Your gallant services have saved thousands of lives, and I thank you on behalf of very many grateful people who are beneficiaries of the services offered by St. John. 
I am also pleased to hear that we share a belief in empowerment from the grassroots. I am pleased to learn that your target to ensure every household in Kenya has an individual who is trained in first aid across the country becomes a reality. This is actually bottom-up in full effect. I acknowledge your contribution to both the emergency medical care policy and the emergency medical care strategy. Your input in making sure that we have a policy framework that ensures that the country is seized with the matter of uh, emergency medical care is a huge contribution that you have made. We intend to build on it as we work on a new legislative framework and policy framework that we are currently developing that is going to take us to enacting five different laws, I think, maybe six. We are working with the county governments so that we can deliver not just on health in general, but also emergency and pre-hospital uh, medical service to the people of Kenya whenever they need it. The St. John Ambulance has made strides in strengthening emergency response through community approach. We are taking the same approach in our quest to transform healthcare through a focus on preventive care. We believe community level management of minor ailments will free up crucial health resources and promote health living. Through government funding, St. John has made significant progress, acquired six advanced life support ambulances, which I have witnessed this morning, and established two trauma clinics in Emali and Kinungi, purchased training equipment and trained 10,100 first aid responders, including border border riders, community volunteers, residents of informal settlements, individuals in proximity to black spots and other high-risk areas. Uh, immediately after this meeting, I will be having a meeting with our border border riders, and uh, I will remind them that I was with you and that I have heard the chairman here say that you want to complete the training of the remaining border border riders, and we will see, working with the Ministry of Transport, how we can make sure that that becomes a reality and we ensure that we equip our border border people with skills on emergency uh, medical care and support so that they can become part of the big network that you have built of people who have the skills to attend to Kenyans whenever they are in emergency situations. I am pleased to announce that in continuation of this partnership with government and in response to your request, the government of Kenya is going to allocate one acre of land um, so that you can relocate from your current premise. And I urge Kenyans of goodwill, partners of goodwill from both local and international to work with the St. John's for them to be able to put up a building befitting the sacrifice and <laughs> contribution that is being made by St. John. As patron, uh, he is the patron, right? <laughs> I am. <laughs> I am the chief patron, but who is the patron? <laughs> oh, the patron is, oh yeah, the patron is my former boss. Masden <laughs> uh, Madoka, uh, I used to work under him when I was an assistant minister. I can vouch that he's a very good man. And uh, no wonder St. John's is going places. Thank you very much, Mr. Patron. <laughs> and uh, we will work together. Uh, to make sure that uh, St. John's you know, is on a very sound footing 
so that you can continue to do the good that you're doing. Training these young people, the young people of Kenya, to be volunteers, to know that they, you don't have to be great to, to, to help. You don't have to be, you don't have to have to give. Volunteering means you can be gracious, you can be magnanimous with what you have. If it is skills, if it is something you can do for a fellow human being, in especially an emergency situation, uh, it is something that you can, you can offer. So continue to do that for the people of Kenya and to all people in need. Road accidents are the most common emergency situations in our country. I acknowledge the contribution of St. John Ambulance towards the provision of quality emergency care services on our highways through 17 rescue centers spread out across Kenya. I ask the Ministry of Health, Transport, and county governments to grow and enhance their collaboration with St. John Ambulance to ensure seamless provision of emergency, pre-hospital, and ambulance services to all Kenyans. I commend the entire St. John family for what you have achieved over the last one year. I also applaud you and all the volunteers for your patriotism and humanity. And you have just been outstanding. In fact, many people, uh, myself included, always believed that uh, St. John's is a religious organization. <laughs> Until I got to know that it was not a religious organization, that it is an organization that serves humanity because they believe in humanity and they believe in volunteering to serve fellow human beings. And um, that's the teaching of all our religions, that it's good to serve your fellow human beings. So, Mr. Uh, Patron and your team, let me encourage you, whatever it is that we will need to do on the part of uh, the government of Kenya, um, you will tell us so that the uh, uh, minister here and her team can work towards making sure that uh, we support you so that you can continue to do the good work that you are doing, especially with our children. The teaching of these young Kenyans to be volunteers, to serve humanity, to give what they have to fellow human beings is the biggest thing we can do to uh, these uh, young Kenyans, to inculcate in them the spirit of giving, the spirit of volunteerism, the spirit of patriotism that makes them uh, greater human beings. We will see how we are going to involve uh, St. John's in all the other aspects as we work. I want to encourage Minister and her team as we deploy the whole full range of universal health care uh, network across Kenya, let us see how we can leverage on the big network and ecosystem that has been built by St. John, involving especially the young children of Kenya in making sure that we live in healthy communities that emergency medical care also extends to prevention. How do we prevent accidents from happening? How do we prevent people from getting into situations of emergency? How do we work on our uh, delivery of health care in a manner that we can avoid situations that lead into emergencies? How do we make sure that as we have planned with our community health promoters, we have planned that there will be one community health promoter for every 100 households. 
I think St. John's are giving us even a better template. They are telling us there should be at least one member of every household that has skills and understanding on emergency aid. I think that is something we can pick and we can run with it and we can ask for the support of St. John. So, Asante Nisana. Uh, to the young people who are part of this uh, great army, I want to promise you that you are doing a great job by being part of the St. John Ambulance Movement. Pongezi Sana, you have my support. A hundred percent, and the government of Kenya is going to work with you. We will see how we will continuously support uh, St. John, uh, Buena Patron, you have uh, access to me. You can give me instructions. You know you can do that. Uh, uh, so you can tell me what it is that you want us to do so that we can mobilize uh, government resources, government uh, leverage to assist you do this great uh, job that you're doing with the young people of Kenya. So uh, you can count on me. Uh, CS uh, Susan will, will, will be in touch with you so that we can see what additionally we can do to you and uh, to the whole organization to make it fit for purpose and to uh, assist us achieve some of the goals that we have set out to achieve as the government of Kenya in service to the people of Kenya. So, Asante Nisana, God bless you. Na watakia heri, na mukirudi nyumbani, mtasalimia wazazi wenu. I know we have, uh, I know we have uh, good people here who have been supporting St. John. I want to, in a very special way, uh, thank your um, uh, partners, Safaricom, and all the other good people here. Uh, now that we have a piece of land, let us all work together to see how we can build it. Uh, the government of Kenya, apart from the land, is going to contribute some money, but we also want to work with others to make sure that we do that. Haraka uh, haraka, ndio watu wa St. John waweze kupata mahali pazuri pa kuendesha kazi yao ambayo ni kazi mzuri ambayo wanafanya kwa ajili ya watu wote ambao wako katika hali ya dharura or emergency we want to work together thank you very much god bless you could we appreciate the chief patron another one more time Thank you, Your Excellency.